Hayley, you were 14 mm. when you got your first Oscar nomination for True Grit. I mean, looking back, what do you remember about that night? Oh, boy. I remember um, being incredibly hungry because <laughs> the whole day of getting... I mean, it was like an entire day of getting ready, and then you mm -hmm. finally got there, and I sat down, and I was just so hungry. Uh, and my family was with me. My mom was sitting next to me, and um, luckily, she had snacks because mom. Good for so her. So she had... I've always plenty. loved your mom. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> always. Um, and I just... I had, I mean, the most incredible people sitting around me. Mila Kunis was in front of me, and uh, she caught wind of the... The snack, uh, the word on the situation. street, the snack yeah. situation. Um, and so I just remember, like, Mila turning around at every commercial break, being like, Mom, what snacks do you have? Mom, <laughs> you have my snacks, Mila. And I was like, actually, oh, you can have any. You can have all of them. You can have all of them. Mom, give them all. Give her all the snacks. Now, Gugu, the movie comes out on Friday, and on Friday you have another exciting project uh, premiering. You are also on The Morning Show, yeah, yeah. which is on Apple TV+. Plus. <laughs> now, in the show... In the show, you play you play the talent booker yeah. of a morning show. Yeah. Yeah. Now that you've seen and glimpsed that world, does it make you see this world differently when you come oh, on shows yeah. like this or morning shows and things? Absolutely. I had no idea how ruthless it was. <laughs> oh, it's, brut it's, it's brutal back there. <laughs> I mean, certainly, like, in our show, you know, because it's set in that world, it's very con contemporary, it's very... Um, I guess everybody's so ambitious and everybody gets up so early. I don't think I realised. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's a morning show. But, you know, that wear and tear and, you know, um, how aggressive everything is. So, yeah, I don't think I could do it as a real job, but um, it was really fun to work on. It's incredible. Now, I want to talk to you about this because uh, very recently you just became a member of the Woo! Order of the oh, British yeah. Empire. Yes. Look at you here with Prince Charles. Um, tell us about some amazing thing. It really is. Tell us about that day. What yeah. was this day like? It was a crazy day. I mean, I was going with my mum and dad to Buckingham Palace. Yeah. Big deal, big deal. And uh, we just got a taxi, just a, a black cab, you know, from, from the hotel where we were staying. And we, we got dropped off at the wrong entrance. And oh, no. So we're sort of all dressed up, and there are these barriers, and me and my parents are kind of shimmying underneath these barriers with our heels on. Uh, yeah, it was, it was kind of ridiculous. We got there with, you know, our hats all kind of dishevelled, but oh, no. we made it. And what did Prince Charles say to you? <laughs> you know what? He said, I, I loved you in Doctor Who. Ah, did you really? Oh, amazing. I never had <laughs> Prince Charles yes. down as a Doctor Who fan. Whovian. Absolute Whovian. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But it filmed, I think, because he's the Prince of Wales, and it filmed in Wales, so he had to visit the set or something, I don't know. Maybe. So, yeah. Now, Hayley, I want to talk to you about this. Yes. Because you made a decision just recently, months ago... Right. ..to get your ears pierced... Yes, I did. ..for the first time, which some yeah. people would consider to be late <laughs> in life. Yes. What took you so long? Were you scared of this? What, why, why wait so long? Um, well, OK, so... Uh, well, my mom wanted me to be old enough to make my own decision about it, right? So, um, when that time came, I decided I was just too indecisive uh, to decide if I wanted to get them done. Um, so I kind of was like, maybe I'll just wait for somebody to tell me I have to if I play a role, and they're like, it's absolutely mandatory, you pierce your ears. It wasn't happening. So I woke up one day, and I was like, I need a little something-something going on in my life, so I'm going to go pierce my ears, right? Yeah. So I went, I pierced my ears, and uh, the Met Ball actually happened a couple weeks later, and I, I definitely didn't listen. They told me I had to keep them in oh, for yeah. three months. Oh, I thought it was six weeks. That's what, okay, yeah. so... Listen, they told me three or four months, and everybody was like, listen, I took mine out, like, the next day. And I was like, okay, great. Did that, didn't work out so well. It's, I can literally feel my, my heartbeat in my earlobe because I just put these in and it's throbbing. So, oh, really? But they look great, right? They look cool. Killer. Amazing. Cool. That's all that matters. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Great. They look wonderful. But Thanks. then, so did all the fake ones you were wearing before that. <laughs> cool, all right. <laughs> okay. Reggie, do you have a question for any of our guests this evening? Uh, yes, I do. I've been researching quite extensively uh, to present this uh, question for both of our guests this evening. And just oh, do that, because we always do that. Um, uh, Google A2, mm. um, which, is, uh, which comes from uh, South Africa, mm. is from South Africa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> we worked on uh, uh, Pitch Perfect, was it two or three? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> One of them. I think it was three. Great. Yeah. So Three? we did together. Cool, we cool. did that. Do, w in both of those cases, um, do you th you think it's uh, you think it's all all that stuff's great? <laughs> I think you're my hair inspiration for the day. Ooh, 
for sure. It was like it yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. Mood board for sure. Um, my answer would probably be yes. <laughs> Probabilities are correct. The probabilities are all correct.